Hi everyone. Welcome to this uh, series uh, of uh, Nutrition for uh, Ascension that I will be doing uh, in this uh, chapter. Um, so uh, let's go directly into the subject. Um, uh, ascension is basically the process uh, through which uh, uh, the divine uh, flows through us. It's a continuous process and yet in the times that we are cur currently, we are witnessing since uh, uh, already some time, um, back in the 2012 uh, uh, Mayan calendar that was speaking about the, the shift taking place on the planet, but also, also before that, um, what's taking place is basically there is more light, more and more light uh, pummeling the planet, planet Earth, and uh, therefore uh, changing uh, the uh, vibration on the planet and within our bodies. So within this process, uh, there are uh, those that uh, uh, have chosen uh, before they incarnate to uh, ascend within their physical bodies. Now there are those who will ascend without their physical bodies. It's a choice that was made before even coming on the, on, uh, in, in, uh, in our bodies, and this choice can still be changed. Um, there are no contracts, basically. If somebody wants to ascend within their physical body, this is possible. Uh, we can, somebody can just say it, uh, send the intention out and change it. And therefore, uh, we felt that this is the right time to uh, share with you some of uh, uh, the information and the intel I have about uh, 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 Nutrition for Ascension. Uh, basically, um, in the in the past uh, uh, almost 13 years, uh, I have learned uh, uh, many things um, through trial and error. I made many mistakes on my path to learn what is the right food to eat for myself. And I expect this to happen for everyone. Um, there is no not one way who is the right. It's just I'm just sharing with you here. Uh, what I feel uh, it is uh, the most uh, important that in this way you can find your, your path through that. And uh, I will be sharing some, uh, um, some of uh, the experience I had, not just with me, that many for all those from all those around me uh, through the scope of ascension, through the scope of uh, uh, high uh, vibrational uh, awareness. And uh, so, um, in this now moment, what's, what's happening more locally in our bodies, uh, it's a shift of uh, our carbon-based structure to a crystalline-based crust structure. So this means that um, we go to Christ consciousness, crystal Christ, so it's Christ cons consciousness within each and every one of us. And that shift that happens through basically uh, inner work, meditation, a connection with nature more and more. Why? Uh, because this is the way that the light is, is, uh, is possible to penetrate our fields. So light and through oxygen, through air, uh, it's, uh, uh, we, penetrate, we, we absorb basically oxygen, uh, light. So it's light absorption. And the light absorption within our bodies allows this shift in, in, in our cells. And this shift in our cells also uh, allows the shift uh, of our DNA towards the higher uh, 12 strands of DNA, which is goes more and more towards the original state of, uh, of uh, human existence. Humans, uh, many, many years ago, they were perfect. Uh, and then that's, that's where we go. That's the ascension process taking place. And uh, there is a, a way to have fun along 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 that, and I will uh, I will uh, um, I want to put the focus basically on, on this that um, whatever you choose to do and uh, following uh, what I'm here what I'm about to share and then in the next uh, videos uh, uh, the most important thing to do is basically always 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 take time to do uh, the inner work for at least 15 to 20 minutes daily. Then it means like, like finding the peace within, preferably uh, first thing in the morning when you wake up. This is the best way to start the day. And basically as well, because that's also part of the ascension process, uh, doing the work for the self and also sharing the love with the whole planet. So sending the light 
and uh, empowering the grid uh, the, with, uh, with, uh, with this light. There are many meditations. I will be also sharing a meditation at the end of this uh, course here for you to do. Uh, um, maybe I will share a few of them uh, so you can uh, also um, choose uh, which one um, resonates most with you. But you can also choose any other meditation that works for you. It's perfectly fine. Whatever makes you feel uh, good in your being and you, you connect with your being, it works. Everybody's different. And I accept that. And so um, let me a little bit explain to you uh, what happened to me in this, uh, in this last uh, years, last uh, 13 years. Uh, in the very beginning, uh, I, uh, um, I had a shift of consciousness uh, that uh, I became aware uh, through uh, doing, beginning to do some inner, more active inner work. Uh, I became a Reiki therapist and uh, because... It felt really uncomfortable, the energies, uh, back in 2002 for me. And, uh, and uh, I had to go through this process uh, to, to understand something, to become more sensitive. And that's what meditation does. It allows you to be more sensitive to the energies and therefore sense what is also the best food to eat for you. So, so that is the way I am assisting about doing inner work daily because it's about developing sensitivity and the sensitivity will allow you to know more what is the best food to eat for you. So basically what happened to me is like after I started doing my, uh, my healing uh, Reiki and uh, also helping others along the way, uh, I discovered that I, I don't need to eat meat anymore, that I, I really, and the universe starts bringing me a lot of, start bringing a lot of messages about what happens to the meat factories and all that and how the animals are being treated. I saw a few movies like Earthlings and many others, and uh, and that allow, allowed allowed me to take action towards that. So I started eating just fish, and at some point, also this changed. Uh, I stopped eating a fish, and I became vegetarian. So I started eating eating more veggies uh, and keeping uh, still uh, some some uh, uh, some food that comes from uh, animal products like uh, like cheese uh, or yogurt. And at some point, my body also, I could not understand why my body was rejecting also these foods. So uh, the process for me happened through sensitivity, through awareness of what I'm eating. It doesn't serve anymore. And therefore, I had to find new ways to balance this, knowing fully at the same time that I am absorbing light. So, okay, in the very beginning, I did not know that when I'm doing the meditation that I'm doing that. But you know this now. This is very valuable information for you because uh, anyone now choosing to go on to that, on that speed, it will not take so much time like I did for myself. It took me over the course of 13 years to get to get where I am today and more, I, I can say. Um, and yet for you, uh, with the current energies of the planet, there is, a, uh, there is available 50 dimensional energies and beyond that are already existing on the planet because uh, there is a, a, a percentage of uh, uh, light workers that did this already this work on the planet. So the vibration and the frequency of the planet has risen already on that level. And so we receive, of course, the help of all the light beings. You're not alone. I just, I just don't want to take all the credit for uh, light workers. We're just the channels bring this energy. So uh, God, the divine, expresses through us. And that's what happens here with me when I speak to you right now. So, um, uh, and so this is to more uh, put the accent on this, that um, this next courses will be through that scope. And uh, once you start on that, on that then uh, everything that we'll be sharing uh, will start to uh, um, uh, have more sense for you. It may take some time. I may you may not uh, choose to eat right away the foods that I will be suggesting or use exactly what I'm, I will be suggesting. Yet it is worth the the try out and uh, to get into this and uh, uh, because at the same time it's I understand it's a question of taste. So the taste uh, there is like a, a certain speed of uh, of uh, sensitivity in in the tongue. So when you're studying some foods that I will be suggesting that are raw and vegan, you might not have the same taste like you have when you're eating, for example, cooked food, for example, uh, because uh, different sensitivity in the tongue and then uh, the more and more 
if you if you start to eat raw, uh, this uh, these cells will start to develop. It's it makes sense, right? So it takes time before these uh, uh, transmitters and the neurons and the nervous system start connecting with each other, and then there's this path in, in the brain that activates that. And yet there is uh, infinite intelligence in all cells. So whatever you choose to do, uh, as long as you do the inner work within, you allow this uh, infinite intelligence to flow through and then your body will always keep what's needed and, uh, the, and, the will, and, and will reject everything else. So it's always about uh, observing what feels good, uh, especially after eating. So if, for example, if you eat something and you feel uh, uh, like sleepy or you feel uh, tired, it means that it takes too much energy out of your, of your uh, belly. To, uh, to, to do some, uh, some uh, work to digest this food. So this means maybe you have to take action to change some things in your diet. So because the basic foundation of eating is to give us energy, right? And maybe for pleasure as well, okay, to taste good. Uh, I like to enjoy and I like to eat food uh, also because uh, I just enjoy the taste of it. I'm thankful. I appreciate what is. And at the same time, I, I eat food because I want it to give me energy. Because if it doesn't give me energy, then why am I eating it? If I just feel right without eating it, it's also good, right? So that's about it for this first part. Uh, I will see you in the next uh, chapter. And uh, I wish you all the best for today. Much love.